Hello everybody! Uh, welcome to another Let's Play. I am Bones. If you don't know what you probably do, this is Creature Hunt. I'm gonna turn the audio down just a little, but not much. There. Let's give this game a try. I know very little about it. Uh, I was curious about this one. Uh, you may remember we've done another creature type uh, hunting one. So this is basically a mix of a hunting simulator and a spooky game. Uh, I like these sorts of games actually. So we have a cabin in the woods from what I understand so far. I was reading a bit of this on the Steam page here. We're gonna grab things, so let's grab a flashlight what's important. We are definitely gonna grab the gun. Because why wouldn't we? This is uh... Well, the lighting is actually quite nice here, isn't it? Big that lighting. Uh, and of course, the dog is trying to misbehave right at the start of the video because you know how they do. Uh, if you know our channel at all, though, you will know that. Alright, so I can't use anything else here. I was curious to see if I could. Oh, okay. Ah, alright. Nice, so I have a map. Don't like that already. It's kind of a nice place that uh, we have here. We are the sister of somebody, I believe, who was attacked by uh, the creature we're hunting. Um, I'm going to look around the house here. I'm curious, curious. Pretty interesting uh, lighting here. I like the woodwork. And the texture work is nice. Um, this is a... What do we have here? Oh, ha, ha! There's a camera dynamic. I like this in games. Uh, oh, we can look out on the porch. Can I open the window? I like to try out different things here, guys. So, we're gonna goof around a little here and probably die very quickly by the by the creature right off of it. I'm uh, I'm kind of already man. Uh, I can carry quite a bit of stuff right off of that. I dig that. I can I do I take that or do I leave that one? Okay, so I just yanked a bunch of cameras here. We got chips. We got chip chips. My favorite kind of chip. Um, actually, potato chips are very good right now. We're going to be eating after my Let's Play. I'm making pasta tonight, guys. Pasta. Um, speaking of which, you guys will have to let me know. I think I asked once. Um, I didn't expect that to actually work, but apparently I can use the, the vehicle here. At least get in the vehicle, perhaps, to hide, mayhaps. I'm not sure. I'm going to keep this map open, which is always a smart idea when you're hunting a wild creature of some sort. I say that sarcastically. Ah, uh, dude. I am fascinated with games that do this whole, like, the, the... Yeah. I'm fascinated with games that have the whole forest aesthetic right off the bat. I like it. I always have. Alright, so, camera work. Cameras. How does our cameras work? How does our cameras work? I speak well, don't I, guys? Let's look uh, and see here. So we get the Misi. Very simple options. I'm guessing we will figure these out as we go. There is a generator. Do I need to do anything with the generator? Am I just good to go with the generator for now? I'm good to go. I have a feeling the monster can attack that. Anyways, let's get on the road, and uh, let's see what's what here on the trail. On the road again. I should probably not be ready to pee my pants on the road again, but I am, because holy shit, this is scary. Uh, dude. I think there is something really uh, unsettling and creepy about woods by default. I, uh, I like to camp, but I'm not going to lie to you all, I've only gone camping just me a few times in my life. Uh, yours truly spent a little time homeless, and let me tell you, one of the scariest 
feelings in the world of being out there just in dark at night with weird sounds around you. Actually, I wasn't sure. It turns out that's one of our dogs eating. I didn't know what that noise was. I was like, if that's in the game, I'm already going to die. Oh, dude, I don't... I go back and forth as to what to even use. I don't know. I feel like most of my stuff might actually be in this thing, but I don't know. I seem to... This looks like a little map of a trail, but nothing is on it yet. Um, is it just... No, 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 shit, no, shit, no, shit, no. Oh my god, that was definitely a creature. Can I duck? Can I do anything else? I can jump. Oh my god, dude, that was the creature. That was the creature, you guys. I'm sure of it. For the ever-loving Christ, that was the thing. That was whatever it is. I will say smartly, the developer has not put any pictures of what the creature is up. Uh... Fuck me running, I don't like this. <laughs> that sound is somewhere between a howler monkey and like a very angry wild boar. And it's uh... One thing I think that's nice about uh, this aesthetic though, to talk about it here, is if you notice, it's not quite jet black dark. It's just dark enough to be that sort of dusty uh, that can't quite see that far ahead of you. It's a very realistic, I feel, sort of a lighting, you know. Um, I feel like the gamma maybe on the pad is a little brighter than I'd like it. Maybe a setting to adjust that would be uh, nice. But, uh, yeah, I feel like this feels a lot like uh, going to Kentucky and walking around in a, in a wooded area in maybe Kentucky or even Michigan, up in the upper UP in Michigan, uh, even out near like Higgins Lake where I camped a lot. This feels like some areas out near Higgins Lake actually, which I'm not going to lie is making my skin crawl a little in this game. I don't even know. I think I'm going in circles, guys. Um, Alright, so we're going to this side, so let's stick to the left side. Let's start at the left side and stick to the left side. Alright, we found our first thing, our first actual thing we found here is a little wooded... Looks like this was maybe overrun? Oh, I apologize though, guys. I got some weird, like... I don't head wobblies there for a minute. I feel like, uh... Ah, oh, dudes, the old pop-up tents. Had one of these puppies right here. Man, they, uh... Good job on the texture work here, Dev. Uh, if you, if you do get to see this. I'm always a fan of decent texture work. And they don't have to be the most clean or crisp if the game doesn't need that. But, uh, I feel like these are appropriately good. It's following me. Are you kidding me? Oh, you son of a bitch. I know you're following me. I know it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did I just scare myself? I scared... <laughs> I scared myself. Holy shit. Oh, my God. That made me jump. That made me jump. So, I learned how to use things. So, you will hit tab, guys. In order to use them, and that just scared the ever-loving shit out of me. What am I looking for for this? Do I need to be on a certain level ground? No. Okay. So it's not liking that. I'm guessing I need a green go-to for that. So let's forget that. Let's uh, instead try one of these little tree cameras and hit use there. No, it doesn't want me to do that. All right? Have I borked? Have I, have I done too much here? I may have accidentally bugged the game, so let's hope I did not. Um, we're walking with the camera now, and I hope to God I don't see whatever the hell that thing was again. Cause that thing's... Dude. 
I'm not going to lie to you guys. That seriously, this is not like acting or playing. Those of you who know my channel well, uh, I, and I hope that's all of you. It probably is not, I know, but what did I do? I don't even know what I'm doing, dude. I think I literally bugged out the game. <laughs> so, I freaked out so much, I think I bugged the effing game out, guys. I think that is literally what's happened here. Is that I have... Sweet Jesus, dude. That was effing terrifying. That was effing terrifying. Which camera am I even using? Let's start with that mess of something, zow zow. Okay, so here we are. Use. So I guess I have to be in certain areas for this. So let's go find a spot to dump this camera here. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right. So if I... If I was supposed to read something I didn't read, I do apologize. Uh, to anybody watching this. I'm not going to lie to you and claim I know what the hell I'm doing. I don't. Holy shit, dude. I cannot believe how badly... That made me jump, though. Um, funny for you. Not for me. That was terrifying. Genuinely terrifying. To see that... What is this? Alright, so that's a weird shadow. Okay, that's a border. Alright. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I think I would like something there. Maybe a little different than that for a border, maybe a barrier. Like a thick brush would be good. Uh, it's not that that's bad. I feel like if you were to alter that, though, uh, it would be a little clearer maybe that that's a no-go area. You know, like you could put a little sign right near it, uh, warning, end of forest, you know, something like that. And make it look all just natty, like an old road sign, and then just, like, you know, put a decent texture, like, forest. Or, like, maybe a road or something impassable, like a mountain range, or, you know, probably finagle something there with that, I don't know. So, okay, so this isn't, um... Yeah, I feel like a tutorial here would be good as well, if I may interject some ideas. Um, because I'm curious to use other cameras. I'm on board with it. I'm on board with it. I just don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm not quite sure what the criteria I need to meet in order to put the stand-up that we're dragging around is. Am I gonna... I haven't seen the creature itself yet, and uh, I gotta admit... It's probably my fault, because I ran like a little bitch. So, we're going to get back down for creature territory, because I have a feeling I know an area it might be in. Based on running around wildly with no sense... Dude, why am I doing this? Alright, we do. I'm a fucking idiot. Why do you do this to your cell phones? What are you doing? Don't do this, dude. Don't. Stay where it's safe. Oh, yeah. It's not a game where I don't hunt the creatures and make me jump out of the damn chair and have a heart attack. I said this was a good idea. What could go wrong? I don't know. Why am I so tense? I feel like I'm seriously just abhorrently tense right now. Uh, but uh, kudos, I like that in games when you can when you can get me to be just severely freaked out in the game. Good job. Um, I think I've said before, you know, that that was something that I used to find annoying about some of these types types of games was that I didn't know uh, how to feel because I'd seen like people, for example, that I thought were overacting, people were doing a lot of theatrics, this, that, you know, the other thing, whatever, man, whatever. But I felt like they were genuine. You shot, you idiot. You wasted a shot on nothing. You shot a camera. Ooh, Panasonic's going to be pissed at you. What did I do? All right. Let's see what happens. Can I drop it? <gasps> no, no, you're dropping the rest of yours, you tit. What are you doing? No, pick them up. 
Can I re-pick them up? Can I re-pick them up? I can. Oh, you dork. Don't waste your cameras. Can I, like, not select this again? That's kind of... I don't... Oh my god, I'm just running around the woods with a gun and a camera just floating. Right. Dude, I am so tense right now. This is... If you all could literally see, like, if I had a heart monitor going, it would be beeping and jumping and going crazy. Um. Oh my god. I want to know where I where I put these. I don't know if these are just only around like my residence. Because clearly these are not draft just anywhere. There must be specific spots for these that I have not yet hit. All right. Now I don't know, but I think we are in. Yes, we have been here once. So what I'm going to attempt to do is figure out cameras, for one thing, and learn if there are any sort of key commands here, what said key commands are. So let's try going through, and I tend to do this in a lot of games where I will go through, um, and just hit a few different commands to see if anything is doing anything. I don't know, some of you are like, I know what keys you hit there. Shut up. I thought you probably do. Yeah. Dude, I do not like the crazy noises. I think this creature just sitting there like, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> Can you imagine all this from the perspective of the creature? It must just be like, what is wrong with this guy? I thought we were going to rumble. He was supposed to hunt me. What, what are you doing over here, buddy? They must think I'm an idiot. Uh, along with you, probably most of you. So I tell you what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going. Uh, let's start with this, guys. Let's go around the map. Uh, some of you might pick up on who that is. So some of you may not. You should probably know, though, guys. What I am looking for with this camera, I suspect, is an area here that will uh, turn this camera green and let me place it. Now, I don't know if I need to... I don't like that noise at all. Going the wrong way. Think I am? Don't care. Well, up here anyway. I'm just gonna go. Step one is to learn the map, I feel like. If we're gonna be hunting a monster or a creature of some sort, step one should be for us to learn the map, don't you think? I think that's a smart idea. Let's take a minute here. I'm gonna look her around. Uh, again, some pretty work on the foliage and trees. Decent, I'd say suitable sound effects for the ground and the, uh, the crickets. So, uh, you know, sounds very much like wildlife. Um, I mean, for what you're doing in the game, I feel like the real sounds should be from the creature anyway. You know, that's where you want the special... I feel like, sound-wise, this game does what it needs to do adequately, and it's not trying to shove too much mumbo jum in your face with it. Hey, what does the fox say? Don't you try to kill me, son. You're friendly. Thank you. You saw a fox, guys. It's your first friend. So now we are right near the map equator, and this seems to be home, is right, and let's see where home is actually, I should probably know this shit, shouldn't I guys? I think I should! 
Okay, so is nowhere the place I need to put this camera? Is there something else I'm not doing? Uh, I don't genuinely know what the heck I'm doing here with this. So, let's try this again. Just in case I have caused this to bug a little. Let's pick a different camera. Oh, hold on there. And we will look around. I will maneuver this a little, and I will see if there is a area that looks like a go for the camera. Now, I personally don't know. I don't know, because I don't know what the F I'm doing. And I'm not sure. Um, but I can't seem to figure out how the hell to put the camera back away, and that would probably be useful. Um, so i tell you what maybe we're going to do here. Because we're going to start the game over. And then I'm going to give this a second shot and not do that with the cameras until I learn them more. I want a straight, clean fight between me and this creature. Uh, we're going to start that without the cameras. And then I will work in all that. I suspect there's probably something you're going to tell me what I'm doing or something of a matter. But in any case, let's grab the main things I need here. Um, now I'm curious to see if in, uh, the rake, this one becomes like a home base area, guys, you know what I mean? The canned food would be lovely to take. If that was a real me, there'd be canned food going. I can tell you that. It's shotgun ammo, but I did not come across a shotgun. I'm curious. So, let's see. And these are the cameras. Alright, flashlight. No, put the damn flashlight. So this house is there. Supposed to be a crater. Um, so the first step is going to be to go... Oh, dude. See, that's a good screen for that creature. Um, I like it. I feel like, aha! I did miss a boomstick. Even some medical bags. So really, I was missing some extra stuff I should have got right from the beginning. <laughs> Can I take the deodorant? Because I feel like that may be the best item in the game <laughs> for how uh, spooky that damn thing sounds. I might need that deodorant. Let's not rule that one out here, guys. Uh, now, we're going to take a second little foray. I wonder if that's a spot for a camera. I'm betting it is. Oh, there's one of the there's one of my dogs. Come here. I wonder, come here. You going to come up? Why are you always so shy around the camera? Come here. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Come on. She will not. I don't know why, guys. She will never come up for the camera. I've tried repeatedly. Come on. But never, 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 ever did she come up for the camera. No, she's not going to come. I'm sorry, guys. I swear we have two of them. I wonder if I hook a camera up here, perhaps. You see what I'm saying? It looks like a mount. But I'm worried about maybe doing that, so I can go here, can I do anything else with this truck? There's got to be a reason I can hide in it. Can I go up the ladder? Can we? Oh god. Did I almost fall to my death? Can I take the newspaper? I feel like that would be handy. I would feel wrong. Right. Um, generator. I'm just trying to grab everything I can right now because I, I feel like uh, this is going to be a crazy game when we get into dealing with the creature, and I think we don't want to die. I'm actually going to leave this camera here as I'm more curious as to what this means for me with this thing. Like, can I do something with these cameras? Can I clue into them? I don't know. Um, I really do suspect that is what those cameras are for. Um, but hitting E on this does that. And that is all it seems to do. And I can't use the flashlight in here, so I'm going to look around the truck. If there's any practical purpose. Maybe I need to find the keys. The truck. Um, if not, then maybe it's just a hiding place. I don't know. Um, I'm curious as to what the heck is in here, though. 
Even though we can't go in here in my little in my head, I might make up a story. About what's in there. Because I, I am genuinely curious. Tell you one thing, now that we got this shotgun, that's the way we're I think that's a ticket with this creature. Oh why is there a red dot on that map? What does that mean? There's a red dot there. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's where one of the cameras is. To show me where a camera is. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. That literally just made me jump. That sincerely made me jump. Holy cow. That sucked. Okay, so there's an equator coming up here. And I see it, actually. Uh, the east and west equator. I'm not going to tackle them yet. I want to go around, and we're going to cut through the equator and go back to the house, and if we don't find the creature, then it's a rotten egg. And I'll call it a game. Um, but, I suspect our creepy, crawly little spider-like friend, or whatever it is. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. Alright, house, you had me at hello. We got boards on the window. And a swing like something out of Evil Dead. Um, which creeped me out when I was a kid. That swing did. For some reason, just that scene where that swing bangs against that door so violently. Or the porch, rather. Um, and just keeps doing it. And then all of a sudden just stops. It is un friggin' settling as hell. I don't seem to be able to get in this house. Um, again, it's a shame, I think with this atmosphere already, enterable buildings like at least one or two, and mwah, we would have uh, some really spooky stuff going with that. Um, unless it is enterable and I just need to shoot things, but for now, I'm trying to conserve some ammo. Let's take a look at which way we're going to go, now we've got to make a decision. Left or right? Well, I say let's hang on the outskirts of this map. I can go in deep on the way back there, but let's start off on the outskirts. I feel like I want to I want to see the sights and sounds. I need to know where that stuff is. There is most certainly a red dot down there. It was not there the last thing, so I can only denote that that must mean that's where a camera is. Are the other cameras now? I'm not quite sure what to do with yet. Should we just see what we can do? Okay. What do we do? Which one? Do I need to find a landmark, maybe? And then it'll let me put one. Is that the, the thing? Maybe I'm not sure. So all these cameras turn into tripod cameras when I go to do this. That much I have seen. Oh, okay. So letting me actually put one here. And yes, I am correct. Interesting. Interesting. So... For those of you who don't know what just happened, let me show you. Uh, I will move the camera here. I kind of turn it around here. And boom! Alright, so that's not too hard to figure out actually. That's just one mouse and another. One mouse and another. You know what I mean, guys. Alright, so, get the camera working. And then, uh, it appears that it will. We'll make a dot on the map. Now, I don't know if that's so I can use them and look through them on here. That would be a lovely little trick. Or, if it is just kind of like a way to mark areas of interest. Maybe something happens. Um, when I, when I, uh, that. But I figured this way I can hedge my bets on that trail, guys. Uh, we put a few cameras. I feel like they're pretty... Oh, dude. Not gonna lie to you, I'm, uh... 
probably, you can probably see I'm visibly uneasy about this, uh, little feature. Oh, dude, I am so not loving this shit at all. This thing is just... Oh, buddy. Not loving it. Oh my god, guys. Uh, I feel like these are the moments in horror games, and maybe if I'm wrong. I don't know how you guys are. I've been playing video games since, like, Commodore 64, uh, the original Atari days. I'm an old man. Turned 42 this year. I, from the very first time I played Resident Evil upwards, and even before Resident Evil, a little Atari game called Halloween, I feel like it is the calm before the storm, the inevitable spooky ass feeling of, you know, do you know what I mean? That, that dread that sinks in? That in a horror game can be scarier by far than anything else, that buildup. And if it's done properly, just stretched ever so thin, it becomes... It's a, it's the sort of fan that is a, uh, the feeling back. It's the sort of feeling that is a horror fan I really do appreciate and look for. I look for it in horror movies, and I don't often find it in horror movies, but video games have this wonderful medium that I feel taps into what I find missing from horror movies. Now, some people get scared easy, and horror movies will creep them out. Uh, I was, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not trying to brag or something like that, I'm tough, but it's one reason why I prefer, I love to watch horror movies, but, dude, I'm like, it's like eating, eating a bag of potato chips with me in horror movies, I can watch tons of them back to back to back to back, because I don't get that same thrill from them, I'm just interested in them, I'm interested, I like to see the camera work, I like to see... How cool is a monster? Is he a slasher? Is it this kind of thing? If it's a slasher, is a mass pool. Uh, have I seen these kills before? Have I seen these kills a lot? Or is this a monotonous thing? You know what I mean? I like to see and try to evaluate these things. Um, not to be judgmental, but frankly, just out of curiosity. We're going to put one up here. I feel like I might want to put one right where I'm passing, but I'm trying to be a little thrifty with them. They've given up... A generous amount of cameras, but again, I still am fuzzy as to how these work. Um, I do think, uh, Dev, if you ever get to see this, uh, maybe just a, a few like little floating text things to explain how things work as people pick them up. We'll probably. Alright, guys, what are we supposed to hear? I think, I'm not kidding you, that it's that way. So I am going to point the camera right about here. So let's grab the camera. Oh, dude, my nerves are going crazy. And I am loving it. So I feel like that is the way it's pointing. How about there? I feel like that's good. Alright, guys, now we get eyes on the monster, kind of. Oh, dude. And now we're going to make our way down to what I like to call mid-map. Now, we knew one area already, which was that weird little RV thing, and I think the creature visits there. Uh, it's my sneaking suspicion the creature will make an appearance there. So you better believe we're going to get a camera there, if no other area. Now this equator part here, I feel like is going to be really, oh my god, that's creepy as all fuck. Well, I can tell you right now, we're about to waste a damn camera, because we're getting something up in here. Are there supplies here, or are there things I can grab? I don't know, but uh, I know one thing. I like that I can walk in here. This is what I mean. I feel like... In a game like this, atmosphere is everything. The forest is already creepy enough. Seeing this stuff just empty, I can explore it. It makes you want to go in. It's a good move. Good job, Dove. I'm happy that I could at least get in here. 
I have a quick little look see. It makes it foreboding. It makes it creepy. I feel anyway. Um, again, I have a massive geeky love of horror games. Uh, and I am not even trying to sugarcoat it. It is simply something that I feel horror games are a wonderful medium. You know, I, I really feel that. I feel like they are one of these things that you kind of can't... I wonder if it's just at Crossroads that let me do these. If so, that... Uh, I would like more options. Not gonna lie. Ooh, huh. I might also be moving a bit wonky here and there, because I'm... Okay, no. So it seems like not everywhere, but I feel like there are enough places I can put one of these cameras where I'm not going to mind it. So we got that pointing in there in case they're spooky. To oh, dude. In case there's spooky dukes goes in there. Um, some decent work here. Uh, uh, I... I'm thoroughly damn creeped out. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I, uh, I am spooked. My spook meter is at too spooky right now. Uh, not quite too spooky for me yet. I need a little more from the creature. I feel like we're playing tag. I like it. Um... Now, I don't know if it's close to me or not. I feel like maybe as it got close... Sorry, I, I wasn't sure, but I thought I heard some foliage, some twig snapping. If not, I was going to say that would be something that I personally would like to see added in. I think it would give quite a level of menace to hear stick snapping, things like that, as the creature gets... Maybe when it's far off and not right up on you even, to be able to hear it tromping around through the woods would be effing terrifying. Um, I don't know guys, that is an awful long stretch of road there to not have covered better than this. Always move two cameras, yeah, yeah, why not? I don't know, I feel like I should have spaced those two out a little more, but... Uh, you know what? I feel like we can do this. I feel like we can do this. We'll do this. Again, I'm not sure yet how the cameras come into play. I don't know if these are just going to be like little motion detectors that are going to... Flash on the map when we get close to the creature. Uh, the call is a really good call. The echoing, uh, I'm not sure how far away I'm from it. I'm exploring the whole map, however, because I'm trying to learn this thing. And after I have laid down these cameras, we're going to go to work and just go ham and start trudging through the areas and hunting it. I feel like one of my cameras could be getting a blip on it sometime before this evening is over, however. Um, so, so far, creepy ass game. Yes, most certainly creepy. Checks all the boxes there. Um, uh, yeah, I'd like to maybe like a little floating thing here and there to let me know how to use the cameras proper. I feel like the guns in most games are pretty straight and cheap, but even just a few little tool tips near the start of the game, I feel like we'll go a long way. Um, Dude, my nerves are going crazy. I feel like at any moment this little shit could jump out and nail me, and that is not a fun feeling. How many cameras have I got left? I got two. 
I gotta stretch to it all the way along here. Well, this is the area I was talking about anyway I wanted to get to. Let me arc here. Um, no, you are a different area, so perfect for one of them. Can I go in here? You, uh, same. Mm, we're definitely going to be dropping one around here. I don't know where I can go in. Again, guys, uh, I know it sounds silly to kind of be going gag over stuff like this, but it really is in a game like this about the small details. The exploring, the ducking around, the trying to... You know, you're basically trying to really pick up that vibe of urgency and curiosity. Where is this thing? Will I see it here? Could it be here? Um, so, little details like this here are really crucial, I feel. They do matter. I feel like they have to matter. They are what make this sort of a situation work. As far as a horror game, you need this kind of thing. I don't know if this is even the right direction. I'm betting I'm pointing that in the wrong direction. The creature's going to go and tap dance behind it and flip me off. Something, I don't know. But uh, I am still going to go with that. And then the last one is this RV. I think this thing is hanging out down in the stretch. Because I'm shocked I haven't run across it once yet. Uh, God, dude. Oh no, there's yet another area I could put a friggin' thing. I have to decide. West Baptist Church. Oh, you're such a cool looking area too. You're nice and creepy. Uh, I don't know. Do I think this thing is dumb? I'm not sure if that's just me or not. Can't look in the windows. Oh, good. I can go in here, though. I swear to God, if this one jumps out at me, I'm going to scream like a little girl. Not even fucking around. <laughs> My nerves are so shot. It is not funny. Um, my imagination is crazy when it comes to, like, horror movies and all that, so right now... Yeah, we're getting to the too spooky for me point. And I haven't even seen this creature yet. But just... The build-up is insane! Uh, I know, I know, I know... Where I think you are, and I think your little ass is somewhere over here. Now... We're going to be... I don't like that. I want to tell you all, personally... Uh, I am so on edge. And it is wonderful. I'm absolutely loving being on edge. As I have stated many times before, I really cannot overstate the enjoyment of being scared um, in a game. These are, that's what you want. You want that to be able to feel that level of adrenaline and fear and get all of the wonderful. It's like when you eat a gourmet food, you know? When a game hits the right notes in horror and gets it so you are, or in this case, a hunting simulator, whatever you want to call this, um, and you get that, where you get to enjoy that weird sort of ambience, and you start to get the little spooky going, and uh, you feel you feel that in your gut a little, that little, I don't know, I don't know, that sense of dread. I mean, that, that just makes it all fantastic right there, guys. That's what you want, you know, let's call it whatever you want, but uh, I'll tell you one thing, you really can't put a price on something like that, in my opinion. 
Well, I have a camera to dick around with, so I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's see if we can't get something here on this ridge. Right? Aim toward the trees there. I'm gonna get you a creature somewhere. I think it's actually even aimed down toward the church it is. So now I have a very diverse path for my stuff. And now we are flat out just gonna go nuts and trudge through the wilds and see if I can't bag me whatever the hell this thing is. It's loud. So the first step is to go straight up the middle. If I can't find her there, we're gonna go straight back down and then left and right along the equator here. The music has just changed instead of getting creepier, and I feel like that might be significant. I swear to God. Is this thing following me? Whoa, 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 something. Did you see that, guys? Did you see that? There was certainly something over there. Right? This is a place I've been. Dude, what the hell is going on with the music? Oh lordy. Oh, that just puts a pit in your tummy. That is creepy as shit. Wonderful. My dear Dev. Good job with that music. That music there should have... Holy shit, Captain. That music should be in this game a little more. That is just frightening. And all right ways creepy. Um, I am digging that all the hell. That's wonderful. So yes, more of that please. Uh -huh. You like that one? That's uh, that's what I want here. Creepy, nightmarish. Well, does that mean I'm close to the picture all day? Does that mean anything? Is that just a passage of time sort of thing? I don't know. I like to uh, I like to imagine it means something. I don't know. What the f do I keep going? I've been going now. There you go. getting freaked out here. This is, uh, very AF. Uh, so far, the foreshadowing element of this game, very good. I do feel like maybe something else should happen here and there to make it like the spook factor um, maybe the creature could cause uh, I don't know like I said maybe quick snapping in the distance as it's passing by a particularly heavy area um, I know for me if I heard a bunch of that stuff going on and I was unprepared to catch a face uh, the beast or the creature rather that would weird me out. So we've seen a fox, so there's at least one of the creature in this game. Now we're back on the trail of it. I can lie, I'd like to just wander, but I don't want to because I want to make sure that I know what the hell I'm doing. Which I don't, guys. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I'm going to pretend I didn't.
I think I'm right. I think when I get closer to this thing, creepy music plays and that's cool. And that's a good idea. Because it certainly amps you up. Shocked, I haven't seen this thing. There we go. One thing this place is a bit bigger than it looked at first. Why are you down here dipping out? The cow is echoing a lot, so it is possible. But I have been up here on the ridge. We have been out here being a dip. I'm not going to lie, I think it'd be a rather hilarious joke if the developer had actually not put a creature in it. So people are just running around this game for ages looking for something that wasn't there. And I don't suspect that's what's happened. I personally find it kind of funny. I'm going to try a few things that I want to test out here. First one. Just in case my test is right. Does noise attack or attract said creature? Will it actively seek noise out? We got one. We got a hit. It's our only hit so far. It is kind of a shame, though, that we don't get uh, any sort of view of the beast from the camera, but I don't know. I do know, holy cow, I'm excited. I'm still going to head in that direction. I don't know what else to do. That was the closest I got to seeing the damn thing is that flip. So, flip it is. Hey, and I think I found another little area up here that I did not know existed. So let's go check that out. I was right, guys. It is by the church that this thing has a, uh... Yeah, I need money. It's hanging out around here. You're not a church. What are you? Oh my god. If you could see... Can you see the error on my arms, guys? It's, stand, it's standing up. That music, man, is just mwah, amazing for this. Where the hell is it? I don't like whatever that noise was. Um, there's some interesting little areas 
in this game, and I will give it credit. Credit is due. This music here, the creepy music that keeps playing here, probably the best of the bunch I've seen in a game like this. Uh, I have not played the rake, I played this one. Uh, I don't think I've played any others like this entirely. But uh, this one, and I will give a nod out to a witch hunt, you know, some of the best music for a game like this I've seen. This one is certainly up there uh, in terms of tension it is and it's, it's gotta be the lows that like the, the bass in those you know holy cow uh, it, it definitely spooks you the blank bedrooms um, I get but hopefully one day those will be populated with something even if it's nothing huge something is always a little more interesting than nothing um, I am even curious. Oh my god. I think the damn thing is down there. I think I. You know what? We're going for it. It's nice knowing you. Let's go kill us a damn beast. I'll say one thing, you can't be that hungry, because I'm right here. So to me, this music represents one or two things. It's either where it is, or where it was last seen, maybe? Where it last went, could I be right? I just realized the whole damn time I'm gonna help her in the lower left-hand corner. I've been so engrossed in the actual scene that I haven't even been. You've been paying attention. The weird music still going on. Nope. It died out of the head, so what happens if I try to follow the music? Will I find this thing? Clearly, it is not a super aggressive beast. Which uh, is very curious, I think. Now I know I need to be more careful with right with these cameras, but so far only one has been tripped in my hunt for this little sucker. Let's try another shot to see if I either scare it forward or back anywhere. I'm very curious as to what's going to occur now. I shot in the air a bit over that way. You all hear that music. Oh man, that's so good. All these nice little kind of playful <laughs> and all this. Loving it. Whoever did the sound on that music did a great, great job, guys. Oh my god. Holy shit. That was right though. The music is how it knows. So it didn't kill me. But boy did that do a huge dip to my health, man. Oh, and that little shit's trying to run to you right now. I don't think so. I can hear something. I can't see it. I think I have confirmed my theory. It is attracted to the gunshots, so sound attracts it. Because that thing was... Mr. Ghost until I did that, and all of a sudden that sucker dropped out of nowhere to whoop me proper. I'm healed, ready for round two. We're gonna kill us a friggin' beast. 
creature. And again, I'm going with the sound. Where the sound's going, I'm going. So that's it. Yeah, like I was saying about horror itself, you know, I feel like good horror is a lot like a good cuisine or a good wine. I, I'm Italian, I drink wine, but I couldn't tell you what this has accents of, or I don't listen to that shit, I don't know. Um, in case you're wondering, I'm a white wine person, not right. I like sweet wines, but, what I was saying here. Well, looky here, guys, a gas station. Now, this one might be my favorite place right off the bat. Atmosphere-wise... Hey! Are you fucking kidding me? There's a real person here? Yo, dude, did you not see this weird-ass creature? Can I talk to you? Well, clearly that's 2 a.m., not p.m. It's sort of cherry -y. So, uh, what does he do, I wonder? You guys know what I'm gonna have to try, I hope. Tasty beer. Um, I do like reading on a lot of games the names people come up with for things. You know what I mean? Just the little things like that, but I think Tasty Beer is funny. You guessed I was gonna do this? You guessed right. Alright, you're an NPC that cannot be killed. He'd be interesting, I think, if you could trade things with him or maybe uh, interact with him in some way. That would be cool. Now, I still don't know where the hell this creature is. Now that was loud. Okay. Come on, you sucker. You're not sneaking up on me this time. Y'all see what I did there, right? Let's be honest. I know this thing's going to try to kill me anyway. I'm determined to get my licks in. I heard it. Come on, dude. I'm not even gonna fuck with the gun. I normally wouldn't recommend this in any game like this, by the way. I am trying to attract this creature. Because for me, this is a good area. I guess I failed to attract him. No? Maybe I'm wrong and it was a fluke. Maybe sound isn't the same. Either way, we are going to try. Um, Again, I'm not so much looking where I'm going all the time, because I really want to try and get... Yeah, I... Oh! Go, oh, oh, oh! Where is that? Where is that area? Where is that? Go there, go there, go there! Quick, 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 quick! Quick, quick, a bunny! Run! Run, run, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, I think I get you now, you fucker! Alright! You're headed there! Yes, baby, the music! Get your shot, get the shot on you, tit. Alright. The table's a turn, darkness! that. He's close. 
close. This is when this game is most effective to me. When the music's going, when you can hear some that noise there, that low thumping thing. Um, Generally, we don't know where the hell he is. Alright, I'll tell you what. Is he in here? I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna. Did you break that one? No. Is that working for me? I just want to see what he looks like before uh, we call this game. Um, so, interesting little creature. I feel like with the little tightening up, um, fine tuning. The music, man, make use of that music developer. This is some great spooky ass music. Fitting, very moody, the low tones set you up nicely for that, uh, that dread. It works, man, it's, it's good. Um, we're gonna look again. I don't know where the hell he is. So right now, all I can really do is go in the map, try to find him. The louder the music gets, the closer he is, I'm betting. So we're gonna stick by this whole fellow in the music thing. That's a thing. Yeah, I think I'm right. Can't trap it. That was a psychotic sound. Whatever the hell that was, that was crazy. No, nothing. Where is he? I know your ass is close. I know you're close. I know you're close. I'm really close. I'm really close. I'm really close. Oh, the town's gonna be shut. Oh my god, dude. Alrighty. Well. These dogs aren't professionals, what can you do? Anyways, my name is Bones. The link to buy this game will be below. Thank you all for watching me almost piss myself. Uh, you all make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up, post your comments, your favorite spooky games, and what you thought of this one. Alright, have a great day.